When it comes to teaching rotation, one of the problems is that there are so few labs to teach it. So in this video, we present the Exploring Rotational Inertia Classroom Kit. This is a must for anybody who likes hands-on labs or is teaching AP Physics. Of course, the first thing you're going to want to try to do is to predict the results of a downhill race. But who will win? The center-weighted disc or the outer-weighted disc? Let's watch again in slow motion. But why does this happen? Well, if you hold the discs in your hand and spin them, you can immediately understand why. By spinning them at the same time, you begin to feel that the center-weighted disc is easier to spin than the outer-weighted disc. This is because it takes more work to move the one who has the masses further out. This experiment is greatly enhanced by inserting the axle, and now you can notice the rotational inertia more easily. A fun approach to this situation is to couple both of these discs with the axle that comes with the kit. <laughs> this one really doesn't want to turn compared to that one. One of the things that makes this kit unique and effective is that it so snugly grips the metal marbles so that they're not free to move in the disc. This is essential because if they did move, it would mess up all the measurements that we're making, and so they won't agree with theory. In this case, I'm going to be dropping one disc on top of another while it's spinning. And you can see that the rate of rotation is cut in half. This is a demonstration of the conservation of angular momentum. And it's an extremely common question on the AP physics tests you might be teaching. The thing about rotational inertia is that it's not an easy idea to get across. And until now, there haven't been a lot of kits to do it with. The fact that it snaps open easily, and that it's durable and clear, all comes to the same point. If you can see what is happening, then you can understand what is happening. <laughs> it's a tie.